Hey guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot to get a before and after shot, whatever. You don't even know what I'm doing it. Yeah, actually, yeah, you do know what I'm doing it because of the title of this video. I'm going to be customizing my Air Force Ones because they are for like $175, the customized ones, and I really wanted the customized ones. Then I kind of sound like, I'm just gonna do it myself. It can't be that hard, right? Yeah, well, you should stay to the end of the video because there are a lot of things that went wrong. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a color petal pink and I am going to be doing that on like the Nike sign, the front sign and the back part, I don't really know, and then the little aglet on the lace. And then I bought a Louis Vuitton stencil and I'm going to be using that to put white Louis Vuitton signs on the painted part and it's going to look so cute and so perfect and so much fun and I'm so excited. <laughs> I bought all the stuff for it. I bought like special paint. Yeah, it's from Amazon, so. This project literally took though, like a week. So I got these shoes like forever ago and they were white, just plain white, and then I had to buy all this stuff. Wait for that to come. <laughs> we're doing this. Um, let's get into the video. Here we go. Okay, but I'll scoot it back, hang on. I have this tape here. I'll come back to you guys when it's all like cut and stuff. Hey guys, I finally taped it. It's so much harder than it looks like. Can you see all like the layers of tape that I had to put around just to get it around like the Nike sign? And I don't even think I'm still gonna do it good, but I'm also gonna painting the backside like this right here. So I didn't worry about like that part right there. But I guess the next thing to do is get started. I have like a load of paint brushes right here. This is what I have and I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but I kind of feel like I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna try this one, because why not? Here it is, here's the paint that I'm using. Okay. Sorry about the lighting, but basically, excuse you, the entire time it focused on the um, scissors that I left in front of the camera. I'm so sorry, I did not mean to do that at all. So I'm just gonna like fast forward a lot so that you guys don't have to go through that pain. Like I'm going through that pain right now as I'm editing it. Um, so yeah, I've already done like the full Nike sign when you guys get back to you guys, because, whoa. I'm sorry, I'm such a bad YouTuber. I'm just kidding. Am I though? Okay, I'm gonna do the back side right now. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. I just did that. <laughs> I mean, like, that looks fine with me. It looks so messy right now, but guys, like, it's about to be good. Now I'm gonna tape up this side. Sorry about that. I am just now getting started on the second Nike sign. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done with that first layer. I just like showered paint on there. Okay, I don't even know how to pick this up at this point. The next clumps of tape is on the bottom. I already started painting a little bit before I hit record, but anyway, um, make sure it's focused. Okay, so yeah. This is where the paint is, and this one is by far the easiest, like, to paint, to tape up. So that's good. I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna show you guys. Some of the holes are not filled in, and some of them are, and I don't want them to be filled in. Like, I want it to not, so I don't know how to get rid of them. I'm just gonna keep going over it. This looks so weird. Ew, it looks so, I don't like this right now. This looks like I'm... Like a basketball shoe. I mean, I know that this already is, but like with the other, like the stripes on it, like the, with the blue especially. Yeah, I can take the tape off tonight. <sighs> I'm gonna do another layer because now I'm gonna have to go around again and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. I'm done with all my coats. I'm actually just gonna like make this one just a little bit better. Right now I'm gonna take off the tape and I'm kind of nervous. Okay, it looks really good right there. I put them in like so much section so it's like coming off one at a time. Why don't I not feel like bad about it yet? Like I feel like, I felt like I was gonna get a lot of like remorse, you know what I mean? Like feel like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done that because you're like $90 shoes. Um, but no, I don't. <laughs> Bro, look at that. That Nike sign looks good. Oh yeah, so this one I did like a really bad job. Like... Look at all of like the paint that got everywhere. So I'm gonna have to touch that up for sure. But I mean, like what, how did I get paint down here? Like I literally, I don't even know. But it looks so good like this side, bro. Kind of proud. <laughs> if not, 
even, I don't even know. It's not working. Oh wait, yeah it is. <laughs> I just remembered I have to do the next shoe. I'm not gonna film that though, I'm just gonna film this first shoe right here. Okay guys, so my, my uh, Etsy Louis Vuitton stencils have arrived. I've never ordered something from Etsy before and I'm quite impressed. It came really quickly. Um, it came in like this flat thing because it's like a stencil. And then it also came with like the shipping thing. Showing you guys this without you seeing my address and stuff. But she wrote me a note. I'll read it. It says, Hi Taylor, thank you for your order. I appreciate it. Please let me know if you have any concerns. Take care, Lucinda. Lucinda. Such a pretty name. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. It's perfect. Okay, right, so right now I'm just gonna use this and put it on like that. And I'm gonna paint it white. Okay guys, so <laughs> that was way harder than I thought. It looked like a blob when I took off the stencil. I just didn't even film it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. So instead, actually, tonight I am going to do a lot of research on it and figure out best tips and tricks for stenciling on Air Force Ones because I know it's a very popular thing people do. There has to be YouTube videos about it somewhere. And then tomorrow I'm going to take another shot at it. Hope for the best. We'll see. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, guys. So yeah, after like a lot of watching videos on how to do it with the stencil, I uh, came across that most people do it with a sticker and then they peel off the sticker. So I'm not really sure. I got a stencil, not a sticker. And you can do it with a stencil. I think it's just harder, which is fine because I want a stencil for other things anyway. So it's okay. And then I think what I have to do <clears throat> is cut them out because... Um, I can't, I need, it needs to be like super flat and like I need to focus on that one like shape and I can't focus on putting the whole thing flat on there, it just doesn't work like that. Okay, so we have a bunch of like the little, little ones and I literally just grabbed like a lot of them. So I'm gonna go try and paint my shoes. First, without cutting it, I'm first gonna just try to do one shape by holding it down really well. That doesn't work. Then I'm going to just cut them. Okay, it's taped on both sides, and I have been like, have my whole thing here. And then I have my wobble bubble <laughs> blower. I have had this since like fifth grade when I first had a wobble bubble. So I have it now, and I'm gonna use that to try and dry it. <sighs> um, so I don't think I can do the, sorry, the Louis Vuitton signals. And <laughs> I'm so sad, because I really wanted them, but I need a sticker stencil and I don't have a sticker I just have regular like non-stickable and it's literally not working like like I don't know how else I can describe it to you I want to keep going but no matter what I do it just doesn't work because it needs to be completely flat and it's not and so paint keeps getting underneath it I literally have this exacto knife and I have like paper I literally tried to make a sticker. I've tried so much stuff and nothing is working. I can't do it because I literally just can't. So I guess I'm just gonna put the finisher on. And I like love this shoe. I love it so much the way it is. Except for like I got some white paint on there. So I might have to touch it up a little bit, but hey guys, so <laughs> The Louis Vuitton thing didn't work, as I told you. However, I'm still very happy with them. I think that this will make them match more, at least. So, you know, trying to find the bright side and the fact that they didn't work. Here they are. I love them. I really do. I I didn't do, like, that little Nike sign at the top of the tongue, but it's okay. These are me and my shoes. <sighs> I have a lot to clean up. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please comment down below. Um... Just comment whatever you want, whatever your heart feels like commenting. Let me know. I would recommend this definitely. It, it was a little bit tricky and frustrating when I got to the Louis Vuitton part. So maybe just don't do that. Maybe just do the color, which is what I did and I, and I like it. I'm happy with it. Um, I have a really, really, really excited video planned, but it's like something that I'm doing and I'm just vlogging it. So make sure that you subscribe. It's gonna be up in a couple weeks, maybe a month. 
I don't, I don't really know. Um, so make sure that you subscribe so that you guys can stay around to watch that. I'm so excited. Um, and I'm spending like $400 on it, so. <laughs> Which is actually really cheap. <laughs> Um, for the, the thing that I'm doing. Anyways, bye guys. I love you so much. Have the most amazing day ever.